everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Look, I'm here uh, about to take a break from my day. I'm not done. I've been going since this morning uh, early, and I'm not done, but I'm going to take a break, uh, sit down. Kind of a break because I'm actually meeting someone uh, at the cigar shop to talk about some upcoming things, but still a break away from uh, just being there, pushing and grinding and working this stuff, closing out the year. Before I get started, uh, today I made an announcement and we're still going that I wanted to raise $1,000 today for the Odyssey Project, specifically Black Men Lead. The link is in the description box. And if you want to give via Cash App, the Cash App and Cash App information for the organization's Cash App account is also in the description box. Um, look, I'm going to get right to it. When I started this online presence thing to be an influence in creating black progression, I made it clear then I'm not an entertainer. I'm not here to be liked and loved and I'm not trying to build a million followers even though obviously that would be great you know if you had that many people behind you I'm pretty sure you can find somebody to support you but my thing was teaching to take moments and use the excessive amount of information that I have accumulated over the last 30 plus years uh, in my own personal research in the reviewing and analyzing and breaking down of others' research in understanding our history and understanding our behavior. I've written over 25 uh, books, um, countless, I mean, literally over a thousand scholarly art articles and tens of thousands of prose articles over the last 30 years. Uh, I have, I am likely, the, currently speaking, likely one of the most prolific published authors out here. If you're talking about everything that I've written and been, it's, been, it's been published somewhere, I have been putting in the work and I have been taking what I'm discovering. Another thing that you'll find out about me, you won't find me in a bunch of debates despite the level of knowledge I know. Uh, one thing Dr. Uh, Blanchard will tell you, uh, I'm not here for debates. I'm not here to look smart. I'm not here to appear to be this dude. I'm here to find ways to empower my people. And like I said, I'm not an entertainer. You know, if I had people come to me, you're gonna have to do this to get them to pay attention. You're gonna have to get them to do this so you can get them to come to it. You're gonna have to set some up. You're gonna have to change. And the crazy thing is when you're getting your ass kicked all over the place, 400 plus years, you're getting your ass kicked. Somebody's got to entice you to come learn the stuff that can literally empower not just you, but your progeny, your offspring, generation after generation, it can change. You're looking at a situation in which we are literally witnessing a widening of the wealth gap between when we were freed and now. We look good, we drive in the nice whips, we wear in the nice clothes, we buy more Mercedes Benzes than they do but they have a hundred and forty plus thousand dollar gap per household median in wealth to us. And we don't see the problem. Our children are being targeted in the educational system while their children are being advanced, even when they don't deserve it, when they are not qualified, they're getting passes. And this is going to be the case when the system was designed for them. So if you're going to win in a system that's not, not designed for you, you've got to be adequately prepared. You've got to be adequate, adequately equipped. And that's what this is about. Why in the world are we sitting up in a situation? This is my greatest concern. Literally, my greatest concern. Under the covering of my concern for my family and loved ones and my people and all this, but the concern of my passion is how we are failing to use something 
with as much leverage as the internet to advance ourselves. We want to be entertained on the internet. We want to be told jokes on the internet. We want to share gossip on the internet. We'll listen to intellectual debates on the internet. We'll hear people lecture about black empowerment on the internet. We will not use it to unite. We will not use it to get together. We will not use it to invest and support and fund. We will not use it as a means of education for ourselves and for our children. We will not use it as a means of developing and building businesses that we own and control. There's so many things that we could be doing that we're not doing and we're just happy being entertained. And you know who knows that more than anybody else? The very people we keep pointing our fingers at and blaming for our condition. At some point, we're going to have to own our own shit. At some point, we're going to have to sit up and realize, yes, there are racist people out there. Yes, there are racist policies out there. Yes, politics is weighted against us. But we are destroying ourselves. It's that simple. We can talk about it till we're blue in the face. We can make excuses. We can come up with all kind of medium, uh, medium anecdotes. But at the end of the day, it's us. We are failing ourselves. We don't come together. We don't unify. They are so afraid of us unifying. And I don't know why, because we are not even close to doing it. But their fear is one day we're going to unify. And one day when we unify, everything's going to change. And if we ever unify, things will change. Things will change. It's not an over overnight type situation. This is a progressive thing. But I tell you what, if we don't start doing things differently, if we don't start raising the level of our connectivity, if we don't start using these platforms for something other than the talk and look good and get people to click it and like it and share it, we are going to find ourselves in a world of hurt that we haven't yet experienced. And we've been through some things, but we haven't seen the worst of it yet. Slavery, we had value because we were property. After slavery, there was a certain level of protection because they didn't know what to do with us. And then they found a place later on to use and say, we'll give you, we'll, we can get their money. We can give them money because they're going to give it right back. They're going to come spend right back in the white economy. And the more money we give them, the more money they spend in our economy. So we, ain't, we don't have to worry about enriching them because even when we enrich them, they turn around and spend back into our economy. They don't invest in themselves. They don't invest in building. They don't invest in growing. They don't invest in education. They don't invest in business. They turn around and they gotta show everybody they got paid. So they're gonna spend money on cars. They're gonna spend money on on on, on uh, designer items and everything else. And they're not gonna put anything in. And I'm not telling you not to buy yourself something nice. If you work your ass off, take care of yourself. You live once. What I'm saying is it can't just be about you. You're going to have to exit out of the individualism and see the whole picture because the whole picture is what your children and their children and their grandchildren and their great grandchildren are going to walk into. And that's what we don't have. We don't have a projected mindset. We can't see beyond ourselves. We feel like because we can show up, do a little something, look, look like we really doing something. And the truth of the matter is our sphere of power is very limited because our ability to accumulate, manage, and compile power is limited. We are at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder and the socioeconomic ladder is one of the greatest representations of power. If you wanna see who's in power, climb the ladder and look at the top. You wanna see who's getting stepped on constantly, look at the bottom. I can tell you who's at the bottom. We should be using these platforms to generate and create businesses and create our own platforms because what I can tell you is once they realize that we have unified and we are leveraging their particular platforms to empower ourselves, they're going to start pushing us off of them. They're going to start coming up with all kinds of new rules. They always change the rules so that they have the advantage. But when you have your own, you have the power. Then you have the power to cipher. When you build your own, you have the power to cipher theirs. It's not just building your own. It's that they, they haven't just been building their own. They've been ciphering ours. From day one, we're spending with them. We have so much of value that they need and they want. Our creativity alone is worth billions. 
trillions and we won't use it. We won't come together. We won't build together. We won't do anything together. I'm just sitting up looking. It's no way that I should have to entice people to be empowered. There's no way I should have to beg people to be fed something that can literally change their lives. Not so I'm, I'm talking about systematically change your life over the course of your life. Watch your life improve and leave you in a better position to bless your offspring. That's the beginning of it. It's called generational wealth. But if you don't understand it, you can't do it. Also, we need to be protecting our children. We need to be building mechanisms, environments, and institutions so we can educate them, so we can empower them, so we can socialize them. I've been talking about this for more than a decade and a half now. No support. But we complain about how our children are being handled. We complain about everything. We're going to. And I've given you so much connectivity over the years. This is a second go around on, on, on YouTube on this thing. This is a second go around. And I haven't gotten back to where I was. Uh, but even on this one, we're close to approaching close to 2,000 videos. 2,000 videos just on YouTube. That's not anywhere else. Just here. Connecting the dots. Showing you over and over again where we stand, how we move, what we need to do. This isn't me just jumping out on some whim and guessing. This is me with thousands of hours of research and practical application under my belt. I've been doing it a while and I know what works. And I've got enough people who know what works that have sit up and said it works outside of me. I, Dr. Amos Wilson talked about so, socialization so much, it's unreal. Nobody, everybody talk about, talks about how, how much of a genius Dr. Wilson was and absolutely that and then some. But very few people are actually looking at the tenets of his teaching and practicing it. It's amazing how we can see the genius in somebody but not see the need to move based on that genius. We can say, man, that guy knows that. That guy, yeah, that man, that you, you on. How many times have I heard somebody say, man, you on point, and then don't follow it? I'm like, I look for people who are doing things that I want to do, and I watch them. And if I feel they're on point, I start doing what they're doing. I start listening to what they're saying. I start practicing what they teach. That's how I've advanced in business. That's how I've advanced in education. That's how I've advanced in the things that I've been able to do on a personal level. That's how I've been able to keep an organization that gets no funding going for over 20 years. But the thing is, it's minimal compared to what's needed. And it's there. It's not like it's not there. It's there. It's just not a priority. It's there. It's just not a focus. It's there, but it's not, it's not in a, it has no entertainment quality. The thing is, I've seen people who are doing nothing but offer entertainment raise more money for their entertainment platforms than the ones that are actually talking about empowering your children to keep them out of harm's way and to keep them from harming each other. That's the real. You can chalk it up and put it in together and piece it together any way you want to. That's the truth. I'm sitting up and I watch it. Now, I'm not worried about nobody else's pockets, but I am concerned about the people who will sit up and see more uh, promise and, and, and give more priority to entertainment. My thing is, whoever over there is smart enough to make money, make your money because obviously that's where it's at. My thing is, I have a way to take care of my family exploiting my people and getting their money to entertain them. I'm like, hey, you need. we all need entertainment. I'm not going to sit up and act like I, I don't. But my thing is, I know the difference between leverage and, it, and an opportunity for entertainment. I can go watch a movie, read a book, uh, listen to some music for entertainment, go to a comedy show for entertainment. This thing called the internet is an unbelievable, unlimited mechanism we should be blowing up and, and doing things with. If I ain't entertaining you, you ain't really got a whole lot of love for me. You, 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 you know, you're going to show up and, you know, you'll say this, you do this, you'll like and all that. And don't get me wrong, the people who show love and spend time with me, I love y'all. I love all my people. No matter where they're at, no matter what they're doing, my brothers and my sisters, I love you guys. Or I would not have done this for as long as I've done it. But we've got to go beyond that. On that note, I'm get out of here. Like I said, show some love. We were trying to raise $1,000 today not a dime yet uh, and 
I posted that early this morning. I'm going to post it again. Again, nobody owes you anything. I don't ever want to make it seem like I'm saying you cheating me or something. No, I decided to do this. But you would think in the grand scheme of things, the way that all other groups and enclaves are moving, we would want to catch up. On that note, look, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day. The link to help is in the description box. The cash app information for the organization is in the description box. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have a good day.